How about that outfit though? Not even wearing shorts, you know why? Just want to be fit, you know? Just want to be a runner or a cyclist. It's not the things inside my head that keep me going. Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it. Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me. But I believe in something bigger. Do you want to see what CB's eating for breakfast? It's Sunday today. Wowzy! Look at the waffles. So we're one week out from competition. Whoa. Oh my god. You know you want some of that, Millie. You know you want some of that. Protein pancakes on a Sunday. That's how your weekend should start. Spring has finally hit us too. We've got some good weather, so hopefully we get a productive day in. Go and do a photo shoot. Go and see Nonna. Take Millie to the park. Park. <laughs> Alright guys, it's 12 o'clock now. Just had a nice long shower. Freshened up, cleaned the house up. Got my Sunday errands done, now I'm about to cook up a snack, well not cook, but fix up a snack, just rice cakes and this low fat English style sliced ham, maybe put some cherry tomatoes on there, and then after that, me and my friend Big Omid are going to go do a photo shoot for the ABW store apparel, so that's launching this summer, Australian summer, and we're trying to get all the photos and all the products ready for the website, we've actually just done a couple of bulk orders. Um, just expanding the range and expanding the color options as well So we want to make sure that we have a really big range before we actually launch a site So that's really exciting. It's probably only about one or two more months away from launching So you got to put some work into that today because it's my day off work. Fix up this meal Doing a little bit of meal prep today as well. Just cooking up that sweet potato in the air fryer What else do we got going on? Nothing Nothing that is my midday snack. So two pieces of ham on each rice cake, a little bit of tomato, and the skinny tzatziki light sauce. This is really good low calorie stuff if you're dieting. You can get it at the supermarket. It's only got 37 kilojoules. That's like one calorie, something like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna snack this down. Oh, 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 big omen. What a sexy man. What's the weather like out there today, omen? 16 degrees and sunny. Is it? It's peaking. Fuck, Melbourne's on the way up. And then look at this, just raining all the next oh. week. <laughs> Better enjoy that Sunday fun day, CB. Oh yeah. What are you eating there? Chicken. Can Millie have some? No. Alright, well I'm all about those healthy snacks these days for one more week. <laughs> and, then, and then we go on Daniel's and Donuts, Daniel's bro. Daniel's Donuts on the weekend. Oh, did you have can I yeah? It's so good. Mm. It's so good. They just smell. They legit like... It's just, Next to like the first bite, right? it'd be kind of like if you have two, like you start from the roof. Wow, that oh, much? Really? Yeah, it's like really heavy. You should go half, like half a salmon, then half like a custard or something. You'd probably go full if you've been dieting for that long. I reckon I could smash a full one pretty easily. Yeah. But I want to eat like all the flavours. Oh, I'll go like, half, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I will eat all the flavours yeah. and all the whole donut. You're bringing a, a full, like, full box? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And get like a, a mixed one. Oh, Snickers. Yeah. Wait, what was that one you saw? They got a Mars bar one. They got all of the donuts, yeah. bro. Yeah. Nutella. Yeah. Oh, the Ferrero Rocher. Uh, Rocher Snickers. My friend went yesterday. Yeah, Ferrero Rocher. Yeah. Rocher. Yeah. Rocher. Yeah. Nutella one. That's Rocher. Like... Rocher. Yeah. That'd be really heavy. Last time he brought them to the gym, I had a bite of the jam donut and then chewed it and then spat it out. Oh, he spat it so out. So that I didn't have to swallow it. That was hard to do, bro. That was really hard to do. Mentally. Did, mentally you, did you enjoy it? Like, as you yeah, just, I did actually. You just, I was like, you're like, should I, should I do it? Nah. Alright guys, so we just got to the gym. We're going to deck Omid out with some of the clothing so that we can start doing some of these shots. But, fuck, we have been blessed with a nice day today. Look at the weather. Summer vibes. Look at that. Check it. Check it. I know I always carry on about the weather, but that's because it's been so shit. Oh, can you hold that, bro? In Melbourne lately. That we're just hanging for these days. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so we need track pants, first of all. Large, yeah? Yeah, large. Whoa, 
Look at that clear skin. She been going real up and down with my skin lately, but I'll talk about it openly because I don't really anything to hide. It's looking cleaner, bro. It's looking good, huh? Yeah, man. Sure. 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 All right, I got the red Jordans on today. Maybe I'll get you to take some pickies of me as well, Ahmed. I'll just be like this. <laughs> Fuck, it feels weird being here on a Sunday. Yeah, man. It's so quiet. It's so peaceful. The music's pumping. It's usually blaring. Oh, yeah, look at that. Fresh pear. Bro, I cracked open a fresh pear this morning, too. And there's, like, no better feeling than putting on a brand new pair of track pants, eh? Crispy? Just like, yeah, just crispy. crispy. Just like, <laughs> like, slither up in there. <laughs> what do you want to listen to, bro? Oh shit, I got the R&B set for you, my friend. SoundCloud, likes. EXO Fridays with Stefan Radman. Crank it, crank it. Alright, I've got to change my lens over. Wow. So, when we were designing this building, I was pretty fortunate enough to have a big say in um, the materials and all that that we're going to use, and the architect showed me this material here, and I was like, bro, that is perf. I want that, particularly for this very reason. So that when I need to do my photo shoots, we've got a nice backdrop in the car park, so we don't really have to go anywhere. And we can use this brick wall. Sorry, it's a bit hard to see, because I'm so zoomed in with that Deck photography down. lens. Fuck, your legs are just getting massive. You went from an M to an L. One year of training and... with you, legs. <laughs> this is what happens. <laughs> you got to move up two sizes. I can X, 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 large. You need XL soon. <laughs> Let's get it pumping. Guys, we're back at the crib. We just got back and all I could smell was sweet potato cooking. I was like, oh, look at this crispy caramelized sweet potato. Probably doesn't look that appetizing because it looks a little bit burnt. But when you've been dieting and you had no sugar in your diet, mmm, it's like a crispy little chip with sugar all over it. Wow. All right. We got some awesome shots at the gym and down to the park as well. Got some lifestyle shots for the website, so I'm gonna use those for like the banners and all that. I'll probably spend the rest of the afternoon editing up those, but anyway, we've gotta try and fit in a workout first. So Maddie's gonna come over in about an hour or so. Maybe we even watch a little bit of the Olympia, which is on right now. And just wait for CB and my mum to get back. Don't know where they went. Oh, Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. Can't get over the bloody weather, it's so <laughs> good. If you're wondering what these aisles are, it's so you can walk up and down and get to your shoes. <laughs> And then these ones are like, just the rest of them, the rest of them, the rest of them. Oh, look at all that sweet potato. We've got the turkey, mince, and the capsicum. Well, we fogging, we fogging. So that's our lunch for today. Already prepped this up the other day, and I can't wait to have some of this. How's the sweet potato? Good. Mine point, needs man. to be heated up a bit more. On point. So I'm just slicing them into nice, thin little pieces here. That way they turn out like little chips once you put them in the oven. Oh yeah, just drop it on the floor. It's all G. <laughs> it's all G. They probably cook a bit quicker when you do it like that. The air fryer? Yeah. yeah. So this is all I do to flavour it. Just put a drizzle of olive oil. So it's probably like not even a tablespoon over all of that. And you're not going to have all of that in one serving anyway. So probably half a tablespoon. And then, where is it? Ooh, where is it? The roast vegetable sprinkle from Master Foods. And that's all you need to flavour it. So put it in your big boy bowl, stir it all up. I love it, I love it. Load it up. Give it a quick shake. And then carefully pour it into, oh, oh, oh. There we go, done. Got some more chippies on the way. How many minutes? Maybe 25? Probably put it on for half an hour, I reckon. The sweet potatoes take a little bit longer to cook. They're not like regular potatoes. They take about 18 to 20 minutes. Oh my god, Big Maddie just goes to me, I'm here, bro. I'm like, yeah, we'll open the door and come in. And like two minutes later, he still hasn't come in. I'm like, bro, are you at the gym? Are you saying that you're at the gym? Because I'm at home, bro. I thought you were coming here. I've been sitting here waiting for you. I'm at the gym, man. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was making you here. Um... <laughs> Do you want to come here? Bro, when did you ever meet us at the gym on the weekends? You always come to the house first. Oh my god, now I've got to get my pre-workout ready. 
and rush to the gym. You're going to have to wait there, bro. I'll be there in about five minute flat. Five minute. <laughs> He's like, oh, shit, diet brain, bro. Anyway. All right, bro, get the sushi ready. <laughs> So Maddie's one week out. Anyway, we're gonna go meet him at the gym. He's got the diet brain. Hopefully we knock out a good session. I'm feeling a little bit out there because of the weather today. So I got the strong lift wear sleeveless hoodie on and I decided to just roll in the bike shorts too. No pants, it's a no pant kind of day. And we're at the gym. You two and your diet brain. Huh? She doesn't remember the alarm code. You don't remember what day it is. <laughs> Or where to go? The only reason why I don't remember what day it is because I had Friday off and it's fucked me. It feels like Monday to me. Yeah, so you thought you were coming here for hammies. Yeah. It's chest day. Oh. It does feel pretty I weird being Friday here off. during the day on a Sunday. Like we normally come Sunday night. Wait, right, can you please flick the lights on? I'm gonna get that pre-workout popping! How about that outfit though? Not even wearing shorts. You know why? Because I'm feeling a little bit frisky. <laughs> Shit! Just wanna be fit, you know? Just wanna be a runner or a cyclist. When I'm in the club, I'm like, what's that noise? Oh. Soldier Boy, tell me. I got the new damn for y'all called a Soldier Boy. When the pimp's in the grip, ma. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. The bitch try to get at you. Park it like it's hot. Why are you showing them coochie lit? lit? Getting up out your car. Paparazzi hanging all around you, bitch. You know you a superstar. You know you a superstar. You know you a superstar. After man. You know superstar. That one hurt, man. <laughs> no carbs, man. I'm struggling. Now that is an outfit. set of our flat presses we're doing a drop set technique where it's really focusing on bringing it down under control and then we're basically pausing at the bottom for like half a second feeling that stretch on the pec and then just compressing it and holding it at the top and we're doing seven reps like this at the end of the seventh rep Maddie's gonna hold it at the bottom for seven seconds now that's eccentric loading at its best fatiguing the muscle then holding it in that stretched out position and then bang hold it at the top for seven seconds after this seven, he's gonna hold it at the bottom again, and then that's it for the drop set. Let's go, feel it, bro, feel it. Let it stretch out your chest. Good. Good. So yesterday was my day of training, and I ended up having about 1,500 calories total. So I'm feeling a little bit flat today, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit leaner, which is good. So just trying to drink up a lot of water, push that into the muscle while we're training. I think I'm gonna push it up maybe 25s on the incline flies, and we're super setting that for guillotine press. I just want that chest to be popping.
Session. So I did four sets of the ab crunch with the rope to finish off with and then I just did like three sets of tricep rope push downs I'm gonna give you a little bit of a condition check to show you where I'm at. I think I'm six or seven weeks into this shred So we'll do a little bit of posing finish off the session and do some posing with big Maddie too Nonna's house to visit her. Haven't seen her all week. We already had our dinner though. We didn't film it because we were just like <laughs> finger licking hungry. That's why. Just sucked it down, didn't we, Millie? Didn't even get the camera out to film it. But yeah, we're gonna cook some more food later anyway, so we'll show you what we ate. Give me la bota. Beef. I had kangaroo meatballs for dinner tonight. Oh wait, this is deep fried. I can't have that. 
What? Are you crazy? Easy. Deep fried? Alright. It's not deep fried, it's shallow fried. I just want to have... Oh. oh man. It's full of oil. I can taste the oil. Alright, give me one more. No, it doesn't want any. Alright, I made sure that I just logged those beef meatballs. So, all up today, after my sweet potato, my kangaroo meatballs, the little meatballs that I just had now, I had a little bit of cereal, Nutri-Grain, and then the two rice cakes with ham, and then, ooh, the turkey mince. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had that. And I had protein pancakes. I've still got 638 calories left for dinner. Ooh, the options, the possibilities. Oi, milky. All right, we just got home and straight away, the first thing that we do is start cooking our meals. <laughs> We're already like, what are you having for dinner? <laughs> what are you having as soon as we get home? What are you cooking? What have you got left? How many calories? That's the dieting life. Yeah, man. So, we both decide we're going to have egg whites for dinner. I'm having an omelette. I've actually got, like, after putting in my supplements, about 250 calories left. So, I'm going to have an egg white omelette, which is around 100 and something, 120, 130. And then I'm going to have um, just a little bit of brown rice to go with it. So, to add volume to the omelette, to fill me up before I go to sleep tonight, I'm cooking up a little bit of this mushrooms and spinach. So just lightly put that in the pan till the spinach kind of shrinks up and goes whoop, and then just pour the egg whites in on the top and then that's my meal. Alright. 200 mils of egg whites. Pour it up in there. 125 grams of rice coming up. Ooh, look at that broccolini. This is a pretty decent sized last meal. Look at that. I could have just had a little bit of eggs, that wowsy. That's, that's volume right there. It's a full container. Full container. Guys, I'm going to wrap up today's video there. I just finished editing up all the photos from the photo shoot today, plus some of the product shots that I did the other day. Just finished watching the Olympia as well, so big congrats to Phil Heath, the man, seven in a row. Big Rami's catching up though, like I reckon next year it is going to be toe to toe. I might even say that Big Rami might overtake him, but I love Phil, so I'm on that corner. Oh, I reckon he's going for eight, but it'll be a good show next year. This is probably the first year that Rami actually like really, really brought it and really worked on his conditioning too, and I'm all about conditioning and symmetry, so hat off to Rami. <laughs> I always got food in my mouth there when I'm fucking talking to the camera. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching the vlog. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Whoa, 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 whoa. You didn't think I was just going to go without doing a post notification shout out, did ya? All right, so today's shout out goes to Zebedee Ellis, who said, liked the video before it even started. I know I won't be disappointed, though, because your videos are grouse in capitals. Hashtag active fam, hashtag squad, hashtag active handshake. Alright, so if you want a post notification shout out, all you gotta do is click the bell next to the subscribe button on my channel, then come back and comment post notifications on, and then leave me a comment, and I'll shout someone out every single video. Alright, so now I'm really gonna wrap it up there, guys. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace out, Active Fam. Love you all. Underwater.